Yeah, so it's Bones here at Le Fruits de Poirier. Is it the 11th of uh, July? 10th, 11th? It's uh, Friday. So uh, if you got a calendar, I guess you can figure that out. Out here in the country, we don't use calendars. <laughs> anyway, so we'll do an update here again. Things are uh, looking considerably uh, better, that's for sure. Uh, still got our cucumber beetle issue, but uh, these are our melons now. We're starting to, uh, we've got our little uh, tripod here. We're going to start growing the uh, three of them up. Each of the uh, each of the corners there, so they're starting to uh, starting to get to the point where we can actually tie them on. Zucchinis are doing awesome, like amazing. And our corn patch, definitely very noticeable now. I think the last video that I had was uh, they were getting pretty tiny. So these zucchinis are like, like two and a half feet across now. Leaves are looking much healthier. Some of them, you know, like this one here, they don't seem, the beetles don't seem to touch it. There's a few on there, but they're not eating it. And Alain Farmer has been doing some uh, severe weeding this week. Absolutely blowing my mind how incredible it looks. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a beautiful garden? I'm pretty excited. We're a little late on the carrots, but these two rows here now have some carrots planted in them, so we're hoping those are going to be done at least before the end of August. Peppers are looking great. And all our greens. A regular, I think, in the first row. And a uh, what is that second row? Is that broccoli, like a broccoli leaf? Rapini. Rapini. And some Asian greens and uh, mustard greens, which I tried the other day. And wow, holy mustard. That's these ones here. Those guys. So it's awesome being able to see the, the sign of success. And our, what's this, the gourmet, which looks awesome, all the purple. And it's kind of been a little bit sporadic. There's a couple of spots that didn't, uh, didn't go. So we're going to plant some other stuff in there. Maybe some more greens, maybe some radishes. Tomatoes are doing amazing. Got them all trellised up. Some of them getting almost four feet tall with huge tomatoes. And there he is, the one, the only, Alain Farmer. Hey, hey, c'est moi. <laughs> mais oui. Mais oui, mais oui. Oh, oh I'm almost done. <sighs> almost done for this week. And then so next week, road. it'll be back. <laughs> and I just got this one swale uh, berm to do. Cool. That's it. Mm -hmm. Coriander, so radishes. Oh, again. Hey, everybody. Look at that. It's starting to go yellow. Almost ready. More peppers there. These ones have some very nice peppers on them right now. Ooh, there's a big one. Wow, that one kind of snuck in. Ooh. One there. Some more coriander I just planted. And our pickles and cucumbers are doing awesome. We're actually going to trellis them. I've been told that, uh, that it can be very helpful getting them off the ground. And uh, yeah, just a little easier for harvesting too. I noticed we had a huge cucumber pickle today. Where is that one? Where is he? 
where's the bones' first pickle? Oh, uh, well. Anyway, I've got a big pickle. Sorry, that sounded bad. <laughs> this is a family show. The chives. They're starting to do good. They were a little late getting them in also. I'm going to step over here. And our spinach, we all waited a little bit long on that one. We're going to have to uh, harvest that pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. More endives there. And it doesn't look like too much. I don't think we planted anything there. Fritz, uh, I think that's his garlic. I think I know all this stuff by now. And then our thyme, parsley, and sage, minus the rosemary, sorry. Doesn't seem to be taking it all, so we're going to, uh, I think we might just be a little bit too much compost and not enough soil. More rapini. Or is that, sorry, endives. I'm not sure what you, what are these that you planted here? No, we've got some stuff planted there, and it's going to be awesome. That's surprise, all the matter. Surprise, surprise, surprise. surprise. And then our potatoes are doing awesome, except for uh, one of them got some sort of a sickness. So I still got to dig that out and probably remove all the potatoes just to. Uh, Make sure that I get as much out as I can because it looks like it may be spreading to the second one over. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that one. But all the rest of them are extremely healthy. Knock on wood. And then there's our our snake snake house. There's lots of crickets around here and stuff like that. So. People are saying, well, they might eat the frogs, but, uh, you know, they might eat some bad bugs and stuff, too. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, finding the balance. Trying to find the natural predators. Yeah. And we've also got our... This one here has been doing so well, so we might plant, replant this one again. There's a few of the... Uh, I think that's uh, Francois's uh, lettuce mix, which actually is very, very good. So I'm hoping this one's going to do well. And more tomatoes we planted, lots of cucumbers, pickles. Unfortunately, this year we had a bit of, in the greenhouse, we had a bit of a unexpected freeze and our heater shut off. So a bunch of stuff that we were hoping to have ended up not, uh, not coming up. So we're uh, going to definitely be a little more prepared next year. I know everybody in BC will be like, next year? But you're coming back, aren't you, Bones? I'm just kind of, uh, yeah. Just experiencing life. Just seeing something different. Learning as much as I can. Becoming self-sufficient. Learning how to feed myself. amazing. Well, I hope you all like the video. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you all in September when I come back. See you soon.